All right, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today on this Friday, January the 1st, 2021? Happy New Year to you all. May this be your best year yet. Welcome to another metallic episode of Music of Destruction, bringing you guys the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube. If you missed anything in the past week, click that eye in the upper right corner of the screen and get caught up on all of my latest content. I would greatly appreciate that. If you'd like me to review anything within reason, please leave suggestions down in the comment section below. No slam or deathcore bands, please and thank you. I would really appreciate that. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel. This series alive and well. Going to keep these videos coming because I love doing this. So tonight I am pitting two black metal legends head to head once again with Mayhem the Mysterious Dom Satanas versus Marduk Heaven Shall Burn when we are gathered. Now I'm pretty confident that you all know the history behind these two legends, but in case you don't, you can check out reviews of both bands in the Metal Album Reviews playlist, though I have yet to review these two albums, but I will be getting to them. To get a biography on each of them, so make sure you go and check that out if you want to know more about Marduk and or Mayhem. Now, Mayhem the Mysterious Dom Satanas was released in 1994 on Death Lake Silence Productions, and Marduk's Heaven Shall Burn When We Are Gathered was released in 1996 on Osmos Productions. Now, the reason I decided to go with these two legendary albums tonight is because of how similar they are in terms of atmosphere, brutality, impact, and the overall goal of the res these respective bands and their mission statement within the world of black metal. Now, it's obvious that the aesthetics and notorious reputation for being evil music isn't new to black metal. However, I wouldn't necessarily call black metal evil. What I would say, guys, is instead of calling it evil, I would call it widely misunderstood and misrepresented and misinterpreted. This is, after all, artistic expression, and it must be viewed as such without any kind of preconceived notions or ideas about the art itself. But then again, black metal isn't for most metal fans, because many of them find it too abrasive and inside the box, so to speak, as some like to call it. But you guys got to remember, this was and still is a rebellion against everything that makes people remember metal, like, you know, the hooks, the grooves, and all that stuff. This is pure artistic expression to create the ugliest, darkest music humanly possible, and at certain points, unlistenable because of the bad production for most fans. It was response to the rampant commercial rise of death in both thrash metal. So you got to remember, that's why this music sounds the way that it does. But I find it ironic that a lot of metal fans don't like this considering they listen to modern tech death like Archspire or Inferi. Anyway, let's get into the video, shall we? First up, we have Mayhem Funeral Fog versus the instrumental here from Marduk. And of course, with Funeral Fog clocking in at almost 6 minutes and the instrumental from Marduk only clocking in at 22 seconds, we're going to give the first point to Mayhem's Funeral Fog. Next up, Mayhem's Freezing Moon versus Marduk's Beyond the Grace of God. And both of these tracks, so fucking killer, dark, atmospheric, heavy, uh, sinister, emotional meaningful and passionate but also very similar instrumentally as I said both of these albums could easily pl be placed alongside each other and listened to one after another and you could easily see the similarities between both bands and styles being played here on these two albums these tracks are both iconic for each of these bands both these albums are very iconic for black metal in general being that Marduk are the pioneers of the second wave of black metal out of Sweden with Mayhem being, in a lot of cases, the fucking creators of black metal themselves. And I know a lot of people say, well, what about Bathory and Venom and stuff like that? Yeah, they were proto-black, but to me, the very first black metal band is Mayhem. Anyway, both these uh, songs are getting a point from each band because they're both fucking amazing. Next up, we have Mayhem, Cursed in Eternity versus Marduk, Infernal Eternal. And you know what? Again, two sonic-crushing, cold, atmospheric, evil fucking black metal songs with that sonic intensity that you'd expect from both of these bands. Lyricism on both these tracks, absolutely incredible because Dead did do all the songwriting uh, or lyricism for Dimitris Dom Satanas before he passed away. And then of course you have Legion 
with his amazing vocals and and lyrical prowess. Uh, both of these songs, so fast, heavy, dark, and brutal, aggressive, and cold, and atmospheric, both of them are getting a point. Next up, Mayhem, Pagan Fears versus Marduk Glorification of the Black God. And as much as I like Pagan Fears, it's not one of my favorite Mayhem songs. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I just got to listen to it a lot more. But Glorification of the Black God is an absolute monstrous fucking track. Not that Pagan Fears isn't. I'm just a lot more into Glorification of the Black God from Marduk. And I absolutely adore that fucking track to no end. I've probably listened to that song like 150 times in the last three years. Yeah, Glorification of a Black God is going to take the point there. Next up, Mayhem's Life Eternal versus Marduk Darkness It Shall Be. And you know what? Both of these tracks, so fucking incredible, legendary, cold, dark, atmospheric, hateful, black, uh, icy, if you will, and very dark, sinister, and insane. We got some amazing fucking work going on here from both bands, instrumentally, vocally, emotionally, that I got to give a point to both of these tracks. We got another tie. Next is Mayhem from the Dark Past versus Marduk, the Black Tormentor of Satan. Being that this is my favorite track on Heaven Shall Burn When We Are Gathered, this track is so fucking amazing. It's got this amazing, dark, melancholic uh, riff that's repeated over and over and over again towards the end of the track. It's just one of those songs that stuck with me so fucking hard that I have to give this point to Marduk, but... Mayhem's from the Dark Past is no slouch either. That's an amazing track as well, but Marduk's going to take the slight edge on that one. Next, we have Mayhem Buried by Time and Dust versus Marduk. Dracul va, va Domini di Nu in Transylvania. Hope I'm saying that right. Both these tracks, similar once again in approach, aesthetic, tonality, atmosphere, instrumentation, vocals, emotion, passion, conviction, darkness. Fucking amazing tracks. Ice cold production on both these albums. Such a fucking great comparison between these two records. That's why I'm doing this episode. Both these songs are amazing. Both of them are going to get a point as well. Finally, we have the title track from Mayhem, Dimistris Dom Satanas versus Marduk's Legion. And you know what? Dimistris Dom Satanas, one of the greatest fucking iconic black metal songs of all time. In fact, that's what you're listening to in the background along with some Marduk as well, obviously, tonight. But yeah, these tracks, iconic. These albums, iconic. And so atmospheric, intense, fast, brutal, cold, blizzarding, fucking guitar work, blast beats, great bass tones on both these tracks, great vocals. I mean, this is a really hard fucking episode to do. But now, guys, we're going to add up the scores for tonight's band. So let's do that. All right, so Mayhem comes in with six points and Marduk comes in with seven points. So Marduk gets that slight edge. But uh, not by much, as both these albums are so fucking incredible. So Marduk takes the win tonight here, but as you can see, very close. And these albums are nothing less than legendary black metal classics, and you cannot go wrong with either one. All right, so there you guys have it. Another metal album, Warfare's in the books here on Music of Destruction. As always, I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. And hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing when I post a new video. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, at Music of Destruction. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv, forward slash Music of Destruction. Join our Facebook group, facebook.com, forward slash groups, forward slash Music of Destruction. The Seed, episode 28, The History of Iron Maiden, part 1, up on Patreon right now. Part 2 is going up this week. I'm recording this video ahead of time, so yes... Uh, the History of Iron Maiden Part 1 will be up by Friday, January the 1st, which is coincidentally today. Yeah, patreon.com forward slash music of destruction. Select the $5 tier, get access. $1 per month will get you shoutouts on my channel, etc., etc. Access to the podcast for 5 bucks. Your support goes to new equipment, lighting, cameras, all that great stuff, as well as our brand new YouTube channel, Reviews on the Run with myself and Colton James. Going to be doing movie and game reviews out there right now, making a new promo. Uh, we're going to be getting started on that channel by the end of January at the latest, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Let's check out a clip of what to expect from the new channel. And we are back. Thank you very much for watching tonight. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Have a great night. We will see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody.